It's a case that is making international headlines. An Ohio woman is suing a sperm bank after she says she got the wrong sample and became pregnant with a child of a different race. Jennifer Cramblett requested an order for sperm from a white donor with blonde hair and blue eyes. But during her pregnancy, she discovered there'd been a mistake. Today, alongside her attorney, Tim Misney, she talked about the day she learned the father of her unborn child was African American. And at that point, I said, uh, no, 380 was blonde hair, blue eyed, um, something resembling my partner, Amanda. And at that point, they said, well, I do believe 330 is an African American donor, and uh, basically, we can no longer talk to you anymore. Jennifer Cramblett of Uniontown speaking out today about the shocking mistake she says Midwest Sperm Bank made giving her sperm not from the white blue-eyed donor who resembled her partner Amanda, but from an African-American donor. An error discovered when she was five months pregnant. And when she requested information about the father of her now two-year-old daughter Peyton, she says Midwest Sperm Bank hung up on her. Despicable, in a word, despicable. Her attorney, Tim Misney, has filed a lawsuit in a case he says is unlike any he's ever seen. He said his client and her partner want costs covered for ongoing counseling to help them raise their daughter in a manner conscientious of her ethnicity. And they need to relocate to a more racially diverse community. But most importantly, says Misney, they want Midwest Sperm Bank to be accountable for what has happened. She is fully accepting of her daughter. She loves her daughter to death. But she wants this policy to change. She wants them to implement the proper safeguards so it never happens again. We have asked for, but so far have been unable to get a statement from Midwest Sperm Bank. We did ask civil rights attorney Avery Friedman about the implications of this lawsuit. He says negligence is going to be tough to prove. The theory is negligent infliction of emotional distress. You have to show actual harm. Um, uh, precedent setting if it ever gets beyond a motion to dismiss. That's going to be a very tough hurdle. We understand it, but whether or not there's a claim remains to be seen. A headline grabber for sure, added Friedman, but getting to a jury, he said, will be a tough sell.